Hey there friends, how's it going? I found a little weird game on Steam called Let's School. It puts you in the role of a headmaster that is basically caring for the children in every possible way, which when I'm involved is just a terrible idea. It's a really quirky game with a lot more to it than I first thought when I started playing, so stick around, I'm interested to see what you think of it. Let me introduce you to our new headmaster. First off, let's make our headmaster, Jim Pickens. I, I like to tower over everyone. <laughs> Perfect. Although he might need a new office. This is a little small for him. School name, Hell. I don't know what the Kiwi logo has to do with Hell. That was just the logo when I took over the place. Here he is, the terrifying man himself. Welcome to Hell, Jim Pickens. We must first admit students from all over the communities and then have them attend classes so they gain knowledge points. When the students pass exams, school gains contribution points which can be used to further improve the school. So I want students to come to my shack in the woods, is what you're telling me. Let me just demolish this hole in the wall. <laughs> I'm not sure how this works. I'm gonna make a classroom. I'm gonna teach them all the wrong things. I'm gonna make my own alphabet. <laughs> I'm also experimenting with this new seating technique where we make all the students face each other. It's to build confidence and encourage eye contact. Hey kids, you want me to teach you? <laughs> like, what would this conversation even be? Admissions office, yes. Get Get me one of those. Student type. What does that mean? Are they eating grass? I don't have time to go through these applications. Admit all. I should probably get a teacher. Oh, uh, uh, Mrs. Lynn. Yeah, you can teach. Jim Pickens technically shouldn't be around the children. Do I have traits, by the way? I do. I'm giant and chubby. That's a bit mean. It's trying to get me to make sure all the students pass. And right now it's estimating that everyone would fail. Okay, I packed out their schedules. Of course, giving Jim Pickens less. <laughs> but they're probably going to be pretty miserable teaching that much. You are so good to us, headmaster. Hell truly is the hope to change our lives. Sure, kiddo. You keep on believing that. I'm gonna buy them a decoration because they're complaining this place sucks. There. How do you feel about that? It's still disappointing. What if I buy the same one again? Yes, it's up to average now. Everyone loves the classroom. Look at this uncomfortable seating. A bean. Oh, this is what Jim Pickens is doing. Scratching his name into his desk. Jim was here. Someone wants to say something to me. The room's so dark that I can't see anything. <laughs> Could you please install a window? <laughs> you know what, kid? You got it. Wait, I can edit their uniform? Oh, hold on. This is more important. I don't know what happened, but they're very different. One is like a tracksuit and the other is like later hosen. Anyway, yes, the window that you wanted. Let me figure that out. Look at them walking with their hands out trying to find find the door for god's sake right there you go you drama queens look at him late for his first ever class his footsteps thundering through the halls i am mrs sweets the school's lifestyle consultant what the students request a tea room they don't even have bathrooms but whatever if you insist you can get your tea room i made the worst tea room ever it's just a very awkward shape i made this little bottleneck here jim pickens is just drinking all the tea look at him towering over everyone what the the hell is this? Hatch this for a panda. What? Huh? Ah, okay. What about the cat egg? I didn't even know cats laid eggs, but there you go. I love learning on this channel. So I guess I need to get the facility score up. Is that the idea? Oh no, they need toilets. They've realized that getting tea before toilets was a terrible idea. Let me put windows in there as well before you start wandering around and bumping into things. Oh no, I can take loans in this game. This is terrible news. That never ends well. My panda is just wandering into the class. Sorry, kiddos. Your education's interrupted. Stop putting your hand up. I'm not going to answer you. I'm admitting more students, even though that might not be a good idea, given we don't have that much space. But look, the panda doesn't pay for himself. He loves coming in and just chilling on their desks. They must be terrified of this giant of a man being the headmaster, just off in his shack all day. Okay, so the gist of things, I need to make the school better, essentially, don't I? Because right now it's pretty awful. And for this, I'm just going to start, I don't know, building stuff and seeing what happens. The nighttime is just a time lapse of my panda running wild around the school. I feel like I need another teacher. Perhaps an art teacher? Let's go with it. Look at them exaggerating how dark it is. Okay, I'm assigning a manager in the management department. Set department name. The adult in the room. Oh, it doesn't fit. I'll just leave it as the adult. And their position name is scapegoat. And I can make it so she increases the amount of money I earn. This is perfect. <laughs> I love it. The adult. 
What? What do you want? I'm starving. Is there anywhere I can buy food? Right now, I'm just gonna say, I see. They're asking for a food tent and I still don't know how to do that. And they're learning from me. This is how screwed they are. I just got a whole lot of alerts. Um, admit all. <laughs> My schedule's pretty booked. I don't have time. Oh, we don't have a teacher assigned. I think I'm gonna need more teachers. Wait, pause time. Oh, I need more time. They all teach science and that's my job. What kind of headmaster do you want to be? Select your victory goal. <laughs> I want to build the most beautiful school. <laughs> it's a tribute to me. Although the population victory might be easier for me. We'll see how we do. We'll take the path of the least resistance. <laughs> I put loads of cleaning supplies around so they can't blame me if it goes to hell in here. Well, it's literally hell, but you know what I mean. I'm painting some grass on. <laughs> it's non-toxic so the stupid kids can eat it and they, they'll be fine. This is where all the money for the school is going. <laughs> what are they complaining about? <laughs> Did I delete their paths or something? I'm just going to keep doing what I want to do. Yep, this is worth tens of thousands. <laughs> there we go. Now we have a lovely path coming in. And I get my very own path going out of this way as king. I mean, principal of the school. Nine students aren't... Uh, oh no, they're not going to class. Oh, so that's why they're just wandering in the field. <laughs> now it makes sense. So I can create a new class for them, right? Oh no, I need another classroom. I don't think I can fit that in here. I never should have built the tea room. I'm gonna build a new building and I'm just gonna stare at you while you build it. Meanwhile, you get no education, so just hang out or something. I think I have to hire more staff, which pisses me off because it means I have to spend more money. A sports teacher. Why are you so expensive? I know how to use a ball. Well, you're now our chief researcher, Donald. He came in to teach the kids basketball and now he's the chief researcher. I don't see any teachers around here. Look, just pay your tuition and shut up. You're learning life. And yes, you may pet the panda. They want more windows. I can't put windows in here. It's just like an interior room. I mean, I guess I could put up a window like that. I guess I could assign some people to the class that's already been used. At least some people get an education then. And then I built this new little unit. We're a little bit caught for space in this one. I, I don't know how, like, claustrophobic I can make it and still be able to function. What an awkward, pokey little classroom. I better put in windows now before they can start overreacting. Acting. All right, you guys are in fish class now. This class actually gets to learn art. <laughs> the other class, I just, I don't want to do the scheduling again. <laughs> this makes it easier on me. Although maybe I should remove this actually. I, it's pretty easy to do. It's just, I, I think she might die if I don't like give her a break at some point. Oh, these people are going to fail the class now because I let them join late. <laughs> Is there any way I can help them? Or I could just remove them from the class. Yeah, I'm going to do that one. Their pass rate is too good. I don't want them bringing down the average. Imagine it's your first day and you get kicked out for being too stupid. <laughs> oh, they can have different uniforms. They're getting very over-the-top uniforms. Oh, we still need to figure out the food thing. Food is scarce at the moment. How am I even feeding the teachers? Teaching proficiency not met <laughs> for Jim Pickens. I think in the other class, he's meant to be teaching algebra, but he just doesn't know it. So he just doesn't show up to that class. Right now, class 1-2 is en route to fail everything. Everyone will fail if things keep going as they're going. Come on, man. How long can it take to research a food tent? He's been in there for days. <laughs> Just stick a pole in the ground, throw cloth over it, and drop down some pick and mix. I think I need another teacher, believe it or not. Who's the cheapest? You. <laughs> you look terrified, but welcome to the team. You get to be our new chief researcher, as is tradition. That means Donald Watson, the PE teacher, is now the homeroom teacher for this class. <laughs> this is getting complicated. I see my panda has uh, found a new home. Oh, I could also just buy lighting. That would help. <laughs> I've only been using windows. But that's because they've been requesting windows. I'm not stupid. My students are. But they're stupid because I'm stupid. Okay, we're removing science from this curriculum. <laughs> You're gonna learn basketball instead. Oh, they don't have an exam for basketball. Hold on, we need a Donald, sorry. You just sit around and look pretty. If Jim Pickens teaches more science, they may actually pass. Oh my God, some of them can barely scratch a pass in the other one. Can I adjust this slightly so that I could get more? Five seems to be the best I can do. The thing is, the others are barely failing. If I just put them in class sooner, they would have been fine. 
Oh, nice. We got a food tent. Let's get that out there. Maybe if the children can eat, they can perform better. Look at this for a food tent. Now we're talking. And we're going to sell one meat, two veggie combo. A never-changing combo that is filling, but not particularly tasty. Wait, I need to get someone to actually work this place? Oh, for God's sake. Humanities teacher. You serve food now. Well, I think they like their new job. He just ordered from himself. <laughs> it's his first day. He's still learning. And now there are others who want food. And he's just sitting there. Where are you going? There's actually a lot going on here. We got the tram line where we could get new students. There's extra land here we can buy. And there's a river where we can throw the bad students. Okay, how do I reach these kids? How do I inspire them? What if I put up the same motivational posters I have all over the school? I'm putting them on the windows. <laughs> they didn't find that very inspiring. They're like, no, just teach us please. What are they failing? Literature. I knew it wasn't Jim Pickens' fault. So what if we give her training? There you go. I hope you don't have to do any classes because I just took you out of them to do training. Oh, they're secretly gaming because there are no teachers around. <laughs> yeah, I think the class isn't going ahead because I took their teacher for training. We'll see if it pays off. Watch now. Everyone will fail. So if I assign them a teacher, is he going to come over and shout at them? Yeah. <laughs> Stop it. Stop socializing. Don't do it again when class is already over <laughs> uh, today's bill was like eight grand i've lost a lot of money today what if i could hire a better literature teacher in the meantime <laughs> maybe they could save us no nah, no one knows how to read and write actually now that i look at the breakdown of all these students the ones that aren't passing are labeled forgetful so it's kind of their fault not me well the training course is complete will that make all the difference what are you doing having fun outside teacher get them <laughs> stop <laughs> you violated the law no fun allowed here. His animations don't even work. He's so giant. He's writing on the wall instead of the blackboard. In pursuit of better progress, we need a management office. I have one. You're the manager. You're the adult, remember? There we go. <laughs> Objective completed. You know, even though she got training, Miss Lin is still not qualified, apparently, for this. Is she even a teacher? Because now that I think about it, she was just hanging out at this shack when I showed up here. You guys having fun back there? <laughs> That's it. Oh, I wanted to send the principal. I was going to send Jim. Jim Pickens after these people, but I can't. They're away from school. All right, Donald will deal with them then. <laughs> the exam is today. All right, cross our fingers. The staff room has windows, and I don't know if that's to keep an eye on the students or to keep an eye on the teachers. Oh, exam time. Excellent. Wait, where are we? Is this a different school that they have to take their exams in? Because this is not my school. It's way too nice to be my school. Pass rate, 12 out of 16. All right, that's the best we could have hoped for. Isn't there a proper statistic that 25 percent of all students are stupid. I don't think I made that up. That's a thing. I got eight and a half grand. I spent way more than that this semester. Oh, the community loves me, though, for helping out. Today's bill is 3,400. Okay, I need way more income. Oh, I'm a level two school now. That still sounds kind of pathetic. Bonus received from Department of Education. Excellent. Some statues and more importantly, six grand in cash. Oh no. All the courses I need next are locked. Meanwhile, the game is telling me to just put in some statues. Okay. Viewing this will cause a short term memory increase. Oh, thank goodness. All my students are so forgetful. Wait, I just spent 10 grand on that. Okay, I couldn't afford that, but it's bought now anyway. Maybe it'll distract them uh, from the fact we can't can't actually teach the courses they need. All right, Donald's gonna help you out with research. Now you'll both be researching together. Timothy still looks very uncomfortable. I like that though. It's a face that says, welcome to hell. Oh, a cat. Yeah, we'll keep it. <laughs> I'm gonna name him Devil. Okay, my usual strategy. Who is the cheapest here? Thomas, welcome to the team and good luck. Okay, I made this into a two-star facility just by, you know, giving them stuff they probably need, like filing cabinets. Eight new student applications? You idiots, we don't even know how to teach. Oh, now it's getting too hot in the rooms. Oh, for God's sake. New semester has begun. How about a speech? Yes. Hello, kids. It is I, the giant man that stands over you all. No one seems that interested. What would be the best? Go nuts. Give him an old YouTuber intro to the speech. Yeah, everyone loved that. Everyone's loving the dear leader. <laughs> the headmaster's right. They're all screaming. Are we sure this isn't a dream? All right, we're going to praise exam results from last semester. Oh, the script went off the screen there. Okay. I'm going to pay off the students that did well. <laughs> I don't know if this is a good idea, but hey, I can always take out a loan. And then do a heart gesture. <laughs> Send your love to everyone in the hall, even though we don't have a hall. They're all energetic now. Oh my God, they're dying in here. <laughs> they're dying. <laughs> okay, kids, I'm installing this ice block in the school to keep you 
you at lower temperatures. The new teacher's complaining that he's boiling. I'm already doing this job. You'll have to get used to how it works around here, buddy. Slow and chaotic progress. The teacher just didn't show up for this class. Oh, well, yeah, because I, I don't know how to teach it, I don't think. We're still researching how to teach that particular subject. But I will spare no expense. I will get another teacher. You, Terry Hall, the cheapest man available. You are now a researcher at our school. Yes, we know how to do stuff now. Now do science. There we go. I just filled it with literature for now because that's the only thing we can teach. Some uncomfortable seating options here in this new classroom. The first years just get gym pickings all year. <laughs> the scheduling is a little complicated right now. Oh my god, everyone wants to come to this school. <laughs> they really are stupid. These seats are making less and less sense as it goes on. Yes, we learned a new thing. <laughs> We're becoming a school. And I think it's time I like stop expanding and now focus on money because I've blown through so much of my budget. The bathrooms are becoming a problem for the population we have. Okay, I've managed to have a schedule here that everyone should pass and I'm not taking in any more students unless there's serious money to be made. And then I might back out of my word. I bought a flag with her logo on it and it looks terrible. School satisfaction went down to... What? What is going on? The food is disgusting. Extreme heat. Dripping wet. Deprived of entertainment. I was just decorating the garden trying to make the place nice for you. But whatever. There you go. A giant ice block blocking your view. Oh yeah, they have zero entertainment. I didn't know that was a thing they wanted. They're all just starved for fun. Look, I put in flower gardens. Does that not help with your fun at all? Class is a drag reprimand oh wait <laughs> i'm getting a pop-up trying to teach me no ignore punish now they're crying <laughs> that'll show them little punk i could get them a playground <laughs> could get the research team cracking on it <laughs> all right figure out how slides work gentlemen <laughs> these guys protesting no stop you're not allowed to protest in this school stop it <laughs> like we're trying to figure out how slides work and don't even get me started on the swings headmaster's coming over stop <laughs> stop exercising your human rights he's chasing them back into school school side Satisfaction is going down. Yes, we figured it out, everyone. <laughs> what the hell is this thing? They're just kind of dancing around it, whatever it is. Look at them. They're not even using it. I guess if we didn't know how to use a slide, they don't know how to use a slide. <laughs> They're just this starved for entertainment that it'll do. Here's an ice block before you start complaining, by the way. They rate it disappointing. <laughs> We just searched the students for contraband and found two frogs. I'm not sure what that means. How is it my fault if they're getting soaked? Like, just because I have no cover for them and they have to eat outside in the rain. That's not my fault. Banana peel? What does this do? Oh my god. <laughs> Absolute chaos. What is this meant to do? Why is this a thing? I have students on crutches now. I think people found it funny, so that's good. But um, we got a lot of sprained muscles here. I don't know. I don't really want to provide medical care for my students. That seems like a different business. And I struggle to build a slide. Personal hygiene. I'm not providing showers. I have invested enough money. I'm down to 6,000. Like, they gotta look after themselves. The complaint they're too wet. Imagine if I bought them showers. Oh, I'm buying myself a trophy display cabinet. <laughs> I even bought it with trophies inside. Best principal ever with a typo. Oh, another cat. Yes, keep it. I'm gonna call it debt, but not like, you know, dying. Just, you know, regular old monetary debt. Because right now we're losing money. <laughs> so that's a very big cat. I think that's like a mountain cat or something. Maybe I should have called it lawsuit. A student brought a frog to school. Jim Pickens, get him. Even though they're like a thousand meters away. I'm making Jim Pickens run a kilometer to stop the student. This person can't make it a class in time because of their leg. They're still all on track to pass though. Everything's going great. Don't look at my money. <laughs> okay, I'm admitting a few students. I know it's not probably a great idea, but I need the money. I think they can actually still pass. Yeah, or... Our teachers are just that good. I've invested heavily in the research department to get ahead of things. And I want to try and get like a school store to get some income. Like they have to buy from me. There's no other stores around. So I can charge whatever I want. Now the only complaints are about the food and the personal injuries they sustained. Because the headmaster is literally throwing banana peels at them. Okay, research school store. <laughs> That's what I need. I need money. You can now establish relations with other schools. I don't want them comparing to my school. 
select a class to dispatch. Yeah, go for it. Come on, go head out there. Good luck, Howard. I hope you have survival skills. <laughs> this is unexplored territory. They're even calling it a dispatch. Scouting an unknown location. Unable to dispatch more teams. <laughs> I think I'm just using the students for our own benefit here. Now he's complaining that he doesn't have ice. What's he doing? Is he meant to be rubbing the cat, but it's freaking out? I'm just refusing to build the infirmary. <laughs> These poor students are suffering. They're just not enough to tip the balance. Like, there's only two of them. Wait, the dispatch team encountered some problems. Howard's stomach lets out an embarrassing cry. It seems like they're hungry. They need to eat before they continue on their journey. Where should they go for food? They're gonna take the whole class into the supermarket. That was the help they needed. They called the principal for that. <laughs> I guess he's using me as his scapegoat if something goes wrong, but little does he know, I have a scapegoat too. Literally titled scapegoat. I know you guys wanted an infirmary, but I got you this bench. I hope we're even now. Wait, did the ice block just melt? Like, I know I'm not that stupid. I know ice melts, but <laughs> I didn't think it would in the game. Definitely shouldn't be teaching these kids. I don't understand how ice works. I'm giving them a top up on the ice. You can now add community volunteering to the schedule. I hear this area is full of little opportunities for accidental wealth. Yes, let's do that. Oh, what is this? I'm Drake. I work in a nearby law firm. A few of my clients would like to enroll their children in your school. They're good kids with somewhat bad tempers and occasional tendencies to pick fights. But you'll be handsomely paid. Yeah, I'm in. I hope I can actually fit them into the school. <laughs> An old headmaster just sent me a letter basically insulting me. You were always fooling around. You kept falling asleep during my math classes, but look at you now. You're a headmaster. Not bad. What a weirdo. They have explosive tempers, all three of them, but they gained me a thousand each. So yes, you're in, as promised. You will 100% fail though. There's no way you can get the grades in time. So I know you have tempers. Just get ready for it. They're not too far off, though. Like, what if I brought out the big guns and Jim Pickens came in for the day to teach you science? No, that didn't help at all. <laughs> now this class is failing. Yeah, that, that's fine. It, it, it'll scrape by. <laughs> all right, the new people will just fail. That's fine. Delinquency is starting to pop up in your school. I wonder why. Don't wait for me to come looking for you. Is that a threat? What the hell? Should I get some security stuff? Oh, no, this is just for firefighting. Mm, no, I'd rather have the money than buying that. Oh, what's happening now? We arrive at a park where an old man named Joe is lost in thought with a frown on his face. He'll give a handsome price to someone who'll write a love letter to the woman of his dreams. He even told us he could spread the word of our school if he's happy with our efforts. This guy is weird. <laughs> we shouldn't be interacting with him. It's time to showcase the power of literature, resulting in a love letter that brings everyone to tears. Cheers echo around the area. The woman is so deeply touched that she invites Joe over for a meal. What did they say in that thing? And because of that, we can now recruit and admit students from this region, all because of Joe here. Oh, wait, the people who join the school need to be taught arts and sports. <laughs> okay, this, that's just not happening. We don't do that here. Sorry. I wonder if they'll realize they're here through pure corruption and that alone. Who are the troublemakers? Mark Perez, Martha Clark. This is Mark here. I'm just going to put down bananas. Yeah. Okay. Now he's in crutches, so he can't really cause trouble, can he? Because if he picks fights, he'll get beaten up. I'm such a genius headmaster. Not only did I accept them, knowing that I'm not going to teach them anything just for the money, but I took out their legs so they couldn't cause any hassle. Nice. We figured out how stores work. It's like, oh, yes. We give goods and services in exchange for money. We get it now. I hope this is the right way around. I think it is. It's so awkwardly jammed in here, but I I don't have the money to do it any other way. Now I just need a cheap aspiring teacher. Here we go, science teacher. You now work in a store. <laughs> We're gonna sell bug nets and spicy snacks. And look, it gives entertainment. You can just get your dopamine here, kids. Eat your way to happiness. Yes, this is a gold mine. It's gonna make me loads of money. Yes, I'm in the profit. Although I am still hemorrhaging money somehow. I'm down to two grand. I got 15 video game consoles in contraband. Well, they've all been recycled now anyway. <laughs> what? You don't confiscate anything? You have to check the students' inventories. I just gave you loads. Why are you just going to be standing outside of hell screaming now? This place is filthy, by the way. <laughs> I think they've found the problem. Look at his office. He's filthy. <laughs> it's not the students at all. Oh, there's an umbrella stand. Okay, so that would have solved the wet problem earlier. <laughs> I still don't think that's my responsibility. Very similar feeling with the infirmary, actually. Keeps warning me they're going to fail. No, that's fine. Oh, more students with explosive tempers come on in i can teach two of you <laughs> the other one you don't get any education 
We don't have room for you, Ronald. What, do you want me to make another class? Just the Ronald class? Selfish. Wait, what is going on in here? Uh, it, he's beating up a kid. No. Where's Jim Pickens? He's on the way. <laughs> How did you even get in here? There's no access to this room. <laughs> it's just a back room for the mole people. He took him to the void and now he's bullying him and we can't get to him. This kid's an evil genius. I can't get into discipline and what the hell? Now here, there's someone reading an inappropriate magazine in the research room. Luckily, they couldn't escape because two of the kids are on crutches. Now they're both stuck in here. They've realized what situation they're in. Well, don't look at me. You got yourself into this mess. I like your students in the tea room are going to be able to see them through the window. I just get rid of that. There are far too many potential lawsuits hanging over me now. I need to reach the last semester to get my severance check, though. They're crying in the walls. One of them is Ronald, so he wasn't being taught anyway. That doesn't really matter. He'll be fine. It's time for the exams. How did we do? Excellent. 34 out of 34 pass rate. And then the, the other three, whatever. Yeah, that, that's grand. No, don't put them at the top. Put them at the bottom of the list where we can't see them. Look at that fat paycheck I just got. Theodore Boulevard hates me now because all their students failed. Oh, and of course, the headmaster's speech. Well, kids, I got my fat paycheck and now I'm off. Look how angry he looks. I'm going to talk about life. Now throw a tantrum on your way out. What was that? They, they don't understand. Conclude on a solemn note. Now it's time to bound to the border before those lawsuits get filed. Because this place is a ticking time bomb. So this whole experiment was a huge success, really, when it boils down to it. Thank you so much for attending the school. You can check out more of my content here on screen if you'd like to subscribe if you're new and you want more classes. And I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.